Hello, and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. This is Kelly Ainsworth Robinson at the 2018 IADC and SPE Drilling Conference in Fort Worth, Texas. Today at the conference, Scout Downhole will unveil its brand new RSS for the first time. I'm here with Steve Jones, president of Sanvian Technologies, to learn more about this new RSS. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm very good, thank you. The RSS combines a mechanical foundation with digital controls. Can you tell us about the new RSS and the benefits of having both mechanical and digital capabilities? Well, the new digital RSS is built on the foundation of a mechanical vertical drilling tool. So Scout Downhole had this vertical drilling tool for a number of years now, and it's covered over 5 million feet in North America and over about 100,000 hours of operation. So what we've done is we've removed the mechanical control system and we've added a new digital control system into the tool. What this does is it allows us now to nudge and maintain low angle tangents while drilling from pads in North America land. The RSS is equipped with drilling dynamic sensors. What do these sensors measure and how do they improve performance? So the drilling dynamic sensors, we can place them at the bit and throughout the BHA. They're very small embedded sensors, so they actually get embedded into the product. There's no additional length or connections that are added. We can take measurements of shock, vibration, RPM, and temperature. And what this does is specifically at the bit, we can measure high frequency measurements. So one of the problems in the industry is high frequency torsional oscillations. We can identify these high frequency torsional oscillations with the sensors. The good thing about this tool is the steering section is non-rotating. So the high frequency torsional oscillations do not affect our steering control or our reliability. And can you tell us about the testing program in West Texas and what some of the lessons learned were? Yeah, so we targeted the Permian, specifically the Delaware Basin, for testing. We knew it was a challenging environment. We didn't want to take the tool to a test rig and then go out in the real world. So all the testing has been done with operators that have approached us to test the tool. The testing in the Delaware tests in a real live situation in a harsh drilling environment. So what that does is it allows us to give the tool a good shakedown and see it survivable under those conditions. Thank you so much for joining us today, Steve. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.